Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to the Talus Principle 2 tonight. Last time, when we made it all the way through the little second section of the first sector here, I guess, right? So we're on a pretty good pace. Like, we're, we're doing some good stuff each night. We're pretty much tackling one section. Um, yeah. Because we really just need to find the Lost Lab in the first bit there at some point. But now we're on to number three, I guess, right? Let's get over there. Let's get over there. Hey, Omega Weapon. Hey, Firetron. How you two doing? Let's see you both. Let's we'll take the public transit over to, uh... Oh, yeah. East 3, I guess. The wetlands. The wetlands. Let's go. One k brought up an interesting question earlier. Uh, we did? Where did all the tech in the labs come from? Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. I, had a look at the I guess we did uh, bring that up. And it turns out the, <laughs> the moist <laughs> land's gross. <laughs> Oh shit, came from New Alexandria. Wow. I, I guess that what was New Alexandria? Oh, that was the, um, the, was the, the previous so attempts we where the 30, 30 of us died or whatever. We had enough to deal with. Yeah. Okay. So many dead. So that's one question answered. But how did they go from scavenged Alexandria? Up since three years since you can have a work trip but your flights got cancelled. Oh, that's shitty. To where we are now. That's kind of garbo. So I bet you're pretty effing tired, which I would understand. I'm also tired, but I did not get up at 3 a.m. <laughs> and I missed whatever conversation they were having there. I'm sure it wasn't important. And if it was, we can review it just to make sure. Um, can we do it from here? We can't. We have to wait until the, the pod comes to a complete stop, I suppose. Oh, wow, that's fancy. Big ol' spiky bit there. Alright, just to be sure that I did not miss anything. Oh, people are still talking! Stop! Who knows? Maybe? Yeah. I know it looks like some type of concrete, but the molecular structure is completely different. Okay. Whatever it is, it's a lot stronger and less brittle. All right. Are the labs made out of the same material? Maybe. No, that's just ordinary concrete. Ah, suck shit, Byron. It does have some molecular <laughs> weirdness going on too. Okay. Too little variation in the grain. Damn. See, like everybody except Byron has like super awesome knowledge. Incredible. All right. So what were they saying on the way over here? I'm just gonna take a, a quick. A, a quick look since I was talking through it. Uh, interesting question, blah, 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 blah. Colony was abandoned. Uh -huh. Where did they go? How did they go from scavenging to Alexandria Tech to all of this? How did we go from nothing to where we are now? Did the application of reasoning and the right tools. Byron. That's hardly a fucking insightful observation there, buddy. But whatever. Okay, but the cool, that structure looks pretty neat, huh? Oh, and also, whilst we were looking up, we found another little <clears throat> laser guide thing, so... Alright, that's probably has to do with one of the stars. So we'll, uh... We'll keep an eye on that. But let's take a look around now. See what we got, see what we can see. Uh, alright, so one, two, three, and four to the left, I still need to the right. We've got the two lost ones to find. As well as the lab, and then the gate won't be, uh available until we've got all the stars, so whatever, it's fine. So it got canceled before you were in a connecting airport. Yeah, that's true. Like, before you got out of local area, at least you had that, right? So that's good. That's good. That's good. Um, let's see here. Okay, they want me to go that way for number one, but then there's the side path already, so I'm gonna take this side path. Because <laughs> if this leads to one of the lost ones immediately, uh, I'm gonna be pretty happy. Oh, fox. See you, buddy. Um, yeah, let's, let's look around here. Because we've surmised. Oh, oh, geez. What the shit is that? Old statue thing. Can I just jump down there, or would that be? Uh, would that be too far to fall? Somebody's walking over there already. That's probably. Uh, how do I zoom? That looks like Yakut. Is the adventure some sort? So are we, so let's go run to catch up with them here. I don't understand how they all got here since I was clearly the only one in that pod, but you know what? Not gonna question it. Alright. 
Oh, he doesn't want to talk yet. He's got nothing to say. He's just looking around. Okay, you know what? That's fine. I'll go explore this cool looking thing. Maybe there'll be a puzzle in it for us, right? When I thought we'd found all the weird stuff. I don't know, it's got another glowy hand bit. Hopefully this one doesn't make us hallucinate. Hmm. More reading and another uh, audio file from Trevor the Unknown, I guess. Hey, we're gonna make a statue. Half work to this bounced and fell over and broke. It was very dramatic. And it works in principle. Oh, and this is Miranda. This is from the first hallucination, right? Okay, well, let's see what Trevor's got to say. I'm sure it's very relevant. So, humanity is great. No, it isn't. I really believe that. Okay. <laughs> that's why I'm here. But I have to be honest with you, individual people, not always my favorite. Uh, all right, you I know what? I can agree with that. Her. And I know that. But there are some people... Man, some people are just so dumb. I don't even know if they're actually conscious. Sometimes I think their whole lives might be like a dream. They're just Ooh, stumbling around, no idea what's going on, mumbling some random nonsense. And the thing that you have to understand All right, about you know, Trevor, you're right about that, that pretty much. These people wield enormous Oh power. no, why is it so relevant? Countries and corporations. Oh crap. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> We've handed over our civilization to people I wouldn't trust. Oh shit, Trevor's right. Oh, dumb, we fell. And what are we? I don't honestly have an oh, answer man. to that, so just please try to do better. Oh man, suddenly, suddenly I'm identifying with Trevor a bunch. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I was kind of hoping for uh, something a little bit more than just a... Uh... There's eyeballs and shit up there too. Are those... Damn, that'd be sick if those were like laser receptacle things. Yeah. I was hoping for something more than just like a little voice clip, but I'll leave that for later. <clears throat> right? Yeah, I mean, Trevor's right. Like, people in power are, by and large, not good. <laughs> They're not great. Uh, it, is, it is very silly. It's very silly and stupid. But, you know, whatever. It's the state of the world. Um, okay. Oh! Well, that looks fancy over there. What's that? I figure since we've got the paths towards the normal puzzles just marked out pretty clearly for us, we might as well check, like, the big points of interest first when we see them. And then we can hit the normal puzzles later. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. We begin with the self, because oh, that is no. what determines our existence as individuals. Okay, yeah. But the self cannot exist without that which surrounds it. Uh, okay, I suppose. The lives within the city, and the city lives within the cosmos. Yeah, sure. So now we must apply the principle that we have discovered to the wider world and ask, if man is like a machine, could it be that the universe is similar in nature. It didn't... And if so... Wait, what? What follows from that fact? I don't know, man. Like... Did we already go over the whole man versus machine bit the last time, though? I feel like there's something else up there, too. Oh, yeah, there's the... One of the little laser connector bits is up there. Okay. Yeah, alright, that tracks. Universe could use a bit of WD-40. The universe could use a lot of different things, let's be honest. Oh, hey, look at that. A little, uh, a spinning machine or something? Mechanism of unknown functionality. Uh, well, that's not a spinning wheel, necessarily. I don't know what that is. Plumbing. I guess it's plumbing of some sort, huh? Maybe a, oh, maybe a hand-driven pump or something? Yeah. Okay. We got in here. <coughs> That's very conspicuous. Hmm. All right. Is 
very conspicuous indeed. All right, let me uh, get a feel for where this is in relation to everything else. This is like kind of off to the north, north northwest, roughly thereabouts, a bit of the island. Okay, or the wetlands, or wherever the fuck we are, right? bit of whatever there. This is probably one of the normal puzzles here. It's along the main drag. Oh, looks like some other constructed bits up there. There we go. Curious. Oh, okay. A bridge of sorts over here. Let's see. So now we're pretty much back to the main part before we split off down the other path. Because it's across, was it say, across here to one? Yeah. Okay. We might be to the point of just uh, doing some of the puzzles now. Oh, look, here's a little fancy thing. What in the world? Um. Excuse me? Whoa, jeez. Oh. I'm going to have a cat. Oh, okay. He's All right. going to be black and white, and his name is going to be Bean. Okay. And Serviceable I'm going to make name. sure that he never gets sick, and he never gets old, and he'll be my best friend forever. Oh, bold claims on those last two. More power to you. You can manage to work that out. Interesting. Okay, well, we popped a... popped a Chivo for something like that, right? Disturbing. All right, not bad, not bad. Get some of the points of interest out of the way. Same fox from before, probably. Okay. Oh, music just kind of shifted there. Okay, and that was where the structure was before, yeah? Or is that a different one? Looks like it might be a different one. Oh, no, no, north northwest, that's the same one. Okay. Odd stone structures and shit. The bridge and whatever. Okay. I was hoping we would have stumbled upon one of the lost puzzles just by wandering about here, but usually those are on like actual paths too, right? Yeah, because that's where we ran first. Cooch, you got something to say yet? No? You're all good? Okay. Yeah, was this where the path split and I decided to go to the right? There's another path that goes up here. No, because I saw the weird stone thing. I think I approached it from the other side. Cross this. Oh, oh, come on! I oh, got swim. <laughs> All right, right. They don't want us to go in the water. That's right. I forget. We totally could have made it across that, though. Like, come on. Oh, and that put us back here. I guess I was. Where the fuck was I? I was like over that way. So I wanted to go out to that like little island there. Hard to gauge the depth of this, really. Let's just walk out there a little bit before we like get submerged or whatever, right? Is there a little, like, just slightly elevated portion, like okay. a slightly hidden sandbar we can walk on or something? Too deep. All right, so we've got. That's actually, a, probably a good perspective. It's like, yeah, there's like a little. Well, might be one. Okay, 
Maybe there is. Damn, we really fucking get into the run, though. Maybe, it, maybe I'll stick on third-person mode for a bit. Kind of really fucking lean into it. Okay. Um, seems like there would be just over there, maybe? Maybe it's just part of the background, though, because that would be a long way to go around to get whatever that is over there. All right. Look at him. Look at him go. Fucking supersonic speed here. I'm tired just looking at it. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. We've done enough uh, fucking around. Let's go solve the puzzle. Preferably puzzle one. Ease our way into this area, yeah? wonder what they're going to introduce to me. To us here. Alright. Puzzle one. See, you see this running towards you? Hell yeah! You get the fuck out the way. You you step to the side and hope it's not running at you, right? You're just gonna let it fucking go on by. All right, inversion. All right, so we've got. Okay, yep. Here's the thing we learned about before that turns red to blue and blue to red. Yeah. Flip. Oh, it even tells us. See, we figured that out with the uh, with the other thing before, and it just straight up tells us this time. Boo. Okay. Well, we need the second one there. So then we can do amp bloop blada boop ba doop boop red blue bonk bonk. Take that one, and then that's shooting out blue, I guess, right? And then it'll be red. Hey, look at that. Pretty easy. Easy stuff. It didn't give us the little wall or whatever. Time. But realizing this place was built on its bones just brings it all back even more. Eh. We were so optimistic when uh, we started. So full of ourselves. North Northwest. Nothing could accomplish right. anything. And then, in one single moment, it was all gone. I remember a flash. There. There. And then just lying there, realizing that my legs had melted. Oh, so Alcatraz was I part of that, huh? Away from the fire, but the servos in my arms were broken. Yikes. If Eustathius hadn't found me, sorry. Just some old scars. Oh, pretty fucking serious old scars, honestly, there. Yeesh. Alright, so I think I've already got eyes on that other laser thing. Over here. Let's see if that's within range. Yeah, sure is. Okay. Well, we're gonna. S oh, well, it's a little bit too far. Okay. All right. There we go. Okay. We got red. Red in the sky. Who knows if that's the actual one we need it to be? But I think that's pretty much the only angle we've got on it from here. So we'll come back to that. Look at Trez's weariness comes from. Yeah, okay. You know what? I can respect I can respect that, right? Like, people who have seen some shit are perfectly justified in how they feel about said shit, right? Okay, wow, yeah. Alright, so that goes off to two different spots. Interesting. Okay. So that's good. Um, let's make sure there's not, like, switches on the backs of these like it was in the second area. There isn't. Alright. Two is off this way. I'm curious where these are going to. Because we found the one, right? And we didn't see what, where the second one was. Okay, this is the one we targeted explicitly. Oh, did we see this? Yeah, we saw that one already. Yeah. Okay. Alright, well, once we get closer to wherever those endpoints are, we'll see what we can see. 
That one probably goes off to the entrance one, right? One that was kind of overhead. Oh, now, uh, oh, good, it's Byron. Can't wait for this. Hey, 1K. Yeah, Byron. I guess tell me about New Alexandria. <laughs> two fatal mistakes in New Alexandria. Oh, only two? One was trusting the texts of our ancestors without thinking Okay, for legit, the legit other mistake. was giving up instead of doubling down. Uh, the tragedy define our future. Uh, mm, uh, mm, that's a bit grayer there, Byron. Like one and a half. One and a half stars out of two. Pretty light convo for him. Alright. Off to puzzle two. Without getting sidetracked this time, right? Split off there, and number two is over, probably across the way here, yeah? Yep, okay. Hmm. Interesting little markings there, okay. Make sure there's nothing else. else in the visible range here. Oh, who's that? I'm, I'm gonna talk to this before we do puzzle two. Is this Melville? No, Alcatraz. Oh boy. Alcatraz, what's up? It... There we go. <laughs> what can I do for you, 1K? Um, what do you make of Pandora? It's pretty clear to me that she doesn't want us to proceed with well, what yeah. we're doing. Oh yeah, that ain't gonna stop us though. I find that deeply concerning. That said, there are clearly other forces at play here as well, so I'm trying my best to remain open to a more positive interpretation. Okay, respectable, respectable. He's being called us here after all. Yeah, Prometheus, a weird purple exactly. sparkly. But we don't really understand anything yet, and this Prometheus is suspiciously absent. Yeah. So I remain cautious. Right, right, yeah. Oh, wasn't there a second option there? Yeah, whatever. Okay. Thanks, Alcatraz. Catch you later. Uh, Alright, puzzle two. Let's do some thinking. Alright, what do we have here? Got a normal laser thing that leads to an inverter. This would likely lead to, yeah, okay. Uh, what's that button now? Red? Um, I guess I do care about that, right? That, that. Oh, no, actually, I care about blue. Um. I actually prefer blue for this. Can I get. Blue. Okay, I can get blue around here. Hmm. Oops, sorry. Get away that. Okay. Well, clearly I need red. Right. But I would also like to whip blue around here somehow. Maybe the only way to do that would be to be like, okay, let's like shove that there. And in order to whip blue around here, we'd need to do this. But then that would only be... Oh, we've already got red in here. Duh. Okay. So I really just need all three things in here. I'm gonna do that necessarily. Oh no, I know how to do this. Uh, let's connect those two up. Uh, I need the inverter in there. That's really all I need. Let's do this, and that, and that, and do like that, I guess. And we can do that. There we go. No problem. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Oh, and we got a weird purple bit out of that. Did that happen in the first one? I just wasn't paying attention.
Oh, we haven't heard Melville chime in complaining about the transport system being busted either. I wonder what they're doing instead. Mm, let's see. Let's make sure none of the laser bits are visible from here. Probably not. Even if they were, it's already jammed up with the red we put on. Okay. I'll take care of that for now. Off to number three, I guess, Well, just we think about what we're doing. Oh, I see. Other, the other laser bits terminates over there. Here, got another glowy bit. Let's stick our hands in that. Oh, goody. Alright. Blah, blah, blah. Founding a new Jerusalem. Breaking ground. A lot of open space. Uh, watching the stars. Okay, yada. Message fragments. Oh, Miranda. To 5358. Okay, so apparently, New Alexandria, New Jerusalem, we capped at 1,000, right? But whatever this other settlement is, they went way larger if they followed sequential numbering. Talos wanted big areas like this, or was it smaller? Um, there were a couple openish areas. It definitely had a hub area or two. It not, wasn't as open as this one, that's for sure. It was uh, definitely more restrained, which was fine. I mean, they still packed the puzzles in, but whew, it's a lot of walking around. Okay, finished setting with the external side of the lake. We were stunning, forgot about the experiment, went for a walk, blah, 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 blah. Then went on to the carcass of a deer that had been torn apart by wolves. Must have suffered enormously to think about that. Maybe feel it truly terrible. So much pain in nature. Yeah, well, there's so much pain in humanity, too. Um, okay, ecosystem engineers. Cutting down swaths of trees for building projects, something's called radical changes, blah, 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 blah. Uh huh. Humans? No, I'm talking about beavers. Oh, could have fooled me. Uh, viewers transform their environments via building, and their actions have real consequence, creating vast wetlands that some species thrive in while others die. Human activity is very similar. We too are ecosystem engineers. Well, yeah, we are, but not in so much that we're thinking about it, right? We really don't think about the ecosystem that we ruin. And they too benefit some species while harming others. Everything about this is completely natural, including damage to other species. It's relevant to what competition and evolution is about. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, and, uh, how much down with animals? Well, I mean, you know, humans are just animals themselves. Further numerously, by intelligence and our ability to remember, through us, the universe <laughs> strives to a greater level of complexity. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about some of that stuff. Yeah, just because we have intelligence and memory doesn't mean we always use those things. Oh, hey, Melville, let me bother you for a sec. Yes. <laughs> Jeez, okay. Uh, tell me about New Alexandria. Ah, uh, <laughs> New Alexandria. What a mess. Mm. It was an attempt to start a new city, but it went about as sideways as it goes. Mm, that's no gas good. explosion. Oops. More than thirty dead. Oops. Unrecoverable. Wait, from a gas How explosion? Was the whole thing? Yikes. That's a pretty damn big gas explosion. You from what they were describing, I figured it was some sort of nuclear thing. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I have so much tech in New Alexandria be here. Because the whole place was abandoned. Okay. Byron insisted that we had to rebuild. But for the survivors, it was just too traumatic to deal with. Mm, so I guess that stuff was just lying around for someone to pick up. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Feels like a lot of good stuff you could have salvaged from there, though. You know, like, just being a little bit more pragmatic about it would have helped you out a lot. Um, okay. Three is directly behind. Um, I feel like the path also splits off this way. Okay, so there's the laser bit up there. Uh, and that's doing a little spinny bop there for some reason. Do all the normal laser things do that? I just haven't noticed. Hmm. I'm guessing this path goes to number four. 
it goes to number four, it's gonna lead us to one of the lost ones. Or it's gonna lead us back around to, well, just another connection over to the previous ones as well. Never mind. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I guess I never noticed the normal, the normal laser bits spinning like that. But I guess we'll we'll probably find out for sure here, right? Let's dip into number three. Okay, yep, we got a normal laser bit. Oh yeah, it's even spinning when it's not connected. Interesting. All right, oh, we got a green, we got a red. We're probably gonna have a combo bit in here somewhere. Got a blue sitting there as well, an inverter, a button. Ooh, I'm getting complicated. And there's the combo bit there. Okay. Well. There's the blue. Okay, I think I see what's going on here. Um, let's go ahead and do, oh, well, wait. Ah, no. Okay, I would like to move you there. So that we can then do, oh, I'm gonna move that over a little bit more even that. Oops. Move that over even more. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna move this in here so that I can then grab this motherfucker here. And then we can do a uh, blip, blip, blip. And then we can grab this thing and go blip, blip, blip. Oh, jeez. Whoa. A lot of oops, didn't mean to keep all of those. Alright, we can grab the combo bit. Now, just need wherever the green one is, right? Let's pop that there. And we've got the red, so we just need to whip the blue around, I think. I'm gonna need probably to grab this one. Set that there for now. And we'll do, uh, crap. Actually, I'm gonna need to do red, blue, like that, I guess. Yeah, keep that open. Um, and then we've got green, we've got red. Ah, I need to do probably, okay, let's do red, red. Keep that open, red there. I need to grab this. Um, crap, except I need that blue source, right? Or no, no, I've got this that can make blue. Let's just do this and set that there. Oops, jeez. Set that there, and then we can go uh, red, blue, green, bonk. There we go. Thanks, Alcatraz. See, look, that's sincere. That's a sincere compliment. Not like the fucking middle management compliments from Byron. Like, yeah, keep keep doing what you're doing, buddy. Like, no, keep, I'll do what I want. And I'm gonna solve these puzzles, but not because he told me to. Um, okay, what is this? Which is interesting. Also, I don't know how, like, where the fuck was Alcatraz? Was he watching through my eyeballs? Was that his deal? That still feels a little weird to me. That, and I realize every now and again. Every now and again. Like, I realize we're streaming this to the other folks back in New Jerusalem, and it's just like, wh what? <laughs> oh, there's a new social media thing. Great. Um, oh, cat's getting advice. All right. I guess he keeps cat bruise and he keeps peeing on a tree. Yeah, clean it up so they can't smell their piss again, right? Make sure he's in distress by something. They don't like being moved from their territory. Just move him back to Yakut's place and put him there. <laughs> no, Bruce is just a bastard. <laughs> He's always being on anything electrical, chewing on cables, and generally just breaking stuff. This is normal. It is normal. I can attest to that being normal for cats. Alright, Pellegrino, I could have, could have given an Aeneas. She's used to him. 
be so fuzzy and I love them. Ah, uh, cats. Yeah, that is 100%. That is, that is cats in six messages right there. 100% cats. For 100% kids. Um, that's absolutely a thing that cats would do. Okay, so we've got another... Can we target that from here, actually? Target that thing from here? We can. Okay, so if we need blue or green, we could target this from puzzle three. That's interesting. But we've got red from puzzle one. Oh, and I shouldn't have. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. But alright. So if we need blue or green, we can target it from puzzle three. That's about what we need to take away from there. Alright, number four this away. We got whatever that was in. Whoa, funny. Jeez, I think it's somewhere to be. Left the gas on in its little rabbit hole, I guess. He's, he's late. Yeah, there you go. That's the, that's the easy one to reach for, right? Um, oh, okay. We got a whole bunch of stuff over there. Is that... Okay, that's probably the five, six, seven, eights over there. But here we got number four. I guess while we're in the area. You know, let's take a quick scan around outside of here. Let's go. Oh, we got another little standing eyeball thing there. That's interesting. I think this was indicative of anything in the previous area, was it? It was just a, a neat little thing. Mm. Some other structures over there that we could probably take a look at. Off to the south-ish. Well, when we get around there. Now let's do puzzle four. Refraction. You got it. Alright. Red bit, blue bit, inverter, blue source. Also, second inverter, third inverter, blue bit. Um, but we figured out we could shoot lasers through the purple bits, right? That didn't matter. Red, and then take red to blue. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can shoot through the purple bits. We just can't carry it through. Okay, that's fine. Um, I need to provide red to this. But in order to do that, we're probably going to need a normal laser or a fourth inverter. And we don't have any of that. Fun. But we do have a red source there. Um, was there a third? No, that one's on the other side. Uh, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go bonk, 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 I guess? What's that gonna do? Okay, that's gonna feed red in there, so I should be able to just yoink that one. Yeah, there we go. Um, now that's getting red source. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, okay. Oh, that's providing Blue. Right, yeah, it's providing blue. Duh. Um, which means probably blip, 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 blip. Yep, there we go. Okay. Hmm, 
nothing fancy, no, uh, no genuine compliments from Alcatraz, no backhanded compliments from Byron, no measured indifference from Melville. Leaves five, etc. Over here. Now, is that gonna be? This looks kind of off the path, right? Over here. Oh, a sphinx thing. Okay. Mm, this has decidedly lost puzzle stuff here. Yeah. Oh, it's a little star thing again. Okay. Does that mean there's a, a laser input up here, or...? No. Oh, I, ah, I see. Okay. Um, so facing the weird stone thing, there's a... Switch along the... what looks to be a wall? Some other thing there, I imagine. Okay. Well, since we know about it now, uh, where is... Okay, it's marked on our compass. That's good. Let's go check it out while well, it's fresh. Big stone head face torso thing shouldn't be that hard to reacquire. And I imagine... Uh, yeah, there we go. It took a picture for us. It automatically took a picture of, for us for reference, which is great. That's super good. Oh, good. Okay. More socialish media. Uh, okay, it's another painting from Ethelwalk. Alright. Uh, ancient city, city of light, yada yada yada, city of freedom, blah 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 blah. Dressed by enemies and traitors never entirely faded and lives on the minds of artists for many generations. Okay. Cool. That's a pretty interesting painting, to be honest. Okay, but, uh, big stone head face thing. This is puzzle three, right? Uh, I think it was probably more this way, right? Because it was near the... Near the first puzzles, probably? Near the coast? Well, near one of the coasts? make another circuit, get our steps in. Okay, yeah, there's a laser beacon thing there. <clears throat> I think we're near one of these, right? Just a giant stone head. kind of area did I? It's sort of in a good place for a secrety secret. No, nothing. Okay. It's pretty much straight 
straight over to that structure-ish. Which kind of looks to be the thing we already stuck our hand into already. Or no, I guess it was... Hmm. Expected it to be somewhere thereabouts here, right? This is just a... Byron, you got anything more to say there? No, okay, good. It's just relatively here, right? Switch. A switch or possibly a a laser receptacle thing or whatever, since we've got somewhere one of these lit up. There's also the underside of this, which is kind of interesting. Okay. Yeah, because I would have expected it to be that structure there. Can I uh, zoom in on that? No, it's just kind of there. Hmm. Solid wall almost. Unless it's overgrown a little bit. That would have been a good place for it right there. No? Oh? Oh no, this is the. Uh, nuts. Uh, so maybe that thing there? This is the final bridge bit, right? Can we do anything with this right now? I guess we sort of can. I mean, I kind of just want to get up on that thing. Oh, that's right. We can't jump while we're on it. That's silly. Uh, take, rotate. Say, hey, hey, look at that, we did it. <laughs> well, that's only half of it, though. That's not what we were working towards anyway, since we got none of the... None of the second half bits yet. We can at least take a look around, right? Maybe something we think about for a bit. Come back to. I guess that's the actual tower bit there. No, oh, okay, there's the gate. Can't do anything about. Also telling us so we got something else here marked on the compass there. What is that? Is that just the oh it's probably just the structure there.
Is that one we solved already? It doesn't look like it. Probably stands out. That's way too much. That's way too close to the main path to be one of the hidden bits, right? Ah, oh, be fun if we could jump our butts in there. But no, I'm sure they made sure that we couldn't do that. But we, uh, hit hey, off. Oh. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay. This wasn't one we did already, right? Oh, that's number eight. Oh, we don't need to do number eight just yet. Ah, and there's the end point to one of them up there. Oh, it's like another little purple outline thing. Let's find out what's going on here, huh? There's so much to discover on this island that sometimes it overwhelms me. Every lake, every forest contains an incredible, interconnected, permanently changing network of organisms. And every one of those organisms is almost infinitely complex and contains other organisms within itself. It seems impossible to ever really grasp. But then, step by step, I do understand. It takes time and effort, but it's not impossible. Uh -huh. There's a lot of joy to be found in simply taking the time to truly study something. I spent five years studying a single flower. And it never got boring. Five years, my goodness. That's a lot of time. But I guess if you're nigh on immortal, that's like nothing. Okay, got a little structure of sorts here, right? Hmm. Well, there's number eight back there. I think seven was along the path here, but we're only up to five, so let's not do this just yet. Here's one of the laser endpoints. That was number seven over here, yeah? Yeah, okay. There's number eight's probably over there. Path circles around it. Standout statue there. That wasn't the one we had eyeballed before, right? No, oh, okay. No, there's the green. The green bop here. This is the other star. Okay. <sighs> Alright. I mean, we've got red, right? From somewhere. And we just need blue in a combo bit, or we just need green directly from somewhere. It's gonna be troublesome. Alright. Keep a... Keep a thought to that one. Another lift through your clip here. So that whilst we're looking around. Yeah, red we got from number one, and then we decided we could get green or blue from number three, I think, right? Even here on this remote island, our ancestors could not escape their fate. And yet, I find there is something pathetic about these ruins that evokes anger and even contempt. I feel it is a mistake to accept this catastrophe with equanimity. What we see here should offend us. When witnessing this triumph of entropy, we should aspire to a warrior spirit. Even a kind of hate of the past and its failures that will never allow such a thing to happen again. Okay, yeah. I think I can agree with that. 
<laughs> old kitty slide thing. Definitely agree with the sentiment that we should keep an eye critically on our past rather than just accepting it for what it was, right? Always look to improve and change it rather than just being like, yeah, well, that's that, I guess. Um, alright. So we know there's a green receptacle for one of the stars. You know we need to get a laser line of sight to it somehow. That was it over there, right? I think it's facing that away. Definitely nothing from this side. that. Oh no, it's facing this way. Right? Yeah, okay. Something line of sight from over here. That's intriguing. Hmm. It's a hell of a distance. keep a thought to, I suppose. Alright, coming in from the west, roughly. Alright, and I think we're up to normal puzzle five. So let's get back on the path here. Here was the Sphinx thing, right? That gave us the eyeball on the other star. Alright, number five is off this way. The only one that hasn't talked to us so far is coot, right? That's Melville. Alright, number five. Prisons. Okay, we got a switch. Interesting. Why would you ever want that to... Oh, I see, because it... otherwise it does power to here. To turn that off. Okay. Alright. Yep. Okay. So then we need... Flip, 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 flip. That... We'll do that. Or no, whoops, that's the exact wrong color. Good job. Blue to blue. That opens red. Okay. Well, alright. I already see a thing that we're supposed to do here. Um, do red to blue, probably reddish here. That. That. I got this. Which gives that really just blue output here. Wow. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's a lot simpler than I thought. Okay. Other puzzle clusters. It seems they remain inert until they're connected. I uploaded the pictures to the log. Wait, we had a drone? Should we check you... them out with the veto? Coot, we had a drone? As much as we can. What did you There's no point in going there if it's all dead. <sighs> Man, Yakut, you gotta tell us these things. Yeah, some puzzles seem disconnected. Yeah, we knew that. I think. Um, is this in our current area, though? And one from the north side of the island. Oh, good, more snow. That's exactly what I want to look at. Oh, I see. 
active. Inactive until we get there. Yeah, I got it. Did we do this one? I feel like we did this one. Looks vaguely familiar. Hey, game over. How you doing? Good to see you. Um, and then there's a thing we didn't read here, apparently. What's the thing which we didn't read that's given us the one in the research bit? Stars and shit. The, uh, hand selfie <clears throat> from Melville. Um, no, it's on... Like, where's the... Which one is the fucking unread one here? Or is it one of these? Oh, there. Oh, right, the, the thing that we got. The, the ancient bit. <laughs> ancient humanity, etc. Okay. Alright, so that's number five. I don't think that one had any outward-facing lasers we can use, right? That's pretty well its own thing a bit. On to number six. What I wish they supplied us with is an actual, like, overhead map or something. Telling us where shit is in a general sense. But that is not something we're given. Either it's not unlocked yet, or it's maybe just not a thing. Oh yeah, that's right. GDQ started yesterday, didn't it? Uh, I'll have to watch those at some point. <laughs> so many things I have yet to watch and observe, etc. Oh, oh, did we find the lab thing? <gasps> we found the lab. This is usually the hardest thing to find. But compared All right. to the technology we're seeing above ground, they're downright primitive. Are we even sure that the labs and the puzzles belong to the same people? There seems to be a connection between the experimental setups in the labs and some of the puzzle technology. Sure about that, Byron? Does not necessarily yeah, eat shit, Byron. True. But just because we don't understand the connection, that doesn't mean it's not there. I mean, we have here missed the point there, but whatever. Reflect each other. Uh -huh. We just don't understand how that reflection works or what causes it. Maybe Miranda can tell us. Maybe. Maybe I'm gonna stick my hand in this glowy thing and we can find out. Whoa, what the? Uh, oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh, it's not schematics or anything that sound important. Here we go. Five times I gave the written word, face a task I could never expected, writing an epitaph, but for your, for your species, oh boy. Yeah, that's kind of rough, huh? Days thinking about it, running out of time, blah, 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 we could have found a cure, blah, 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 oh boy. Yeah, that's uh, a little on the nose, isn't it? I could have found a cure, blah, 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 I reached for something, I don't know what it is, it is great. acceptance, uh, accept, yeah, acceptance, probably the biggest thing, right? Stories unfinished. It should be, no epitaphs for humanity. Is right. Yeesh. Kind of depressing to think about that. Let's let's read about Charon, I guess. Uh huh. Uh huh. Things are one of the weariness and the energy years are centuries, but wide floods of time and e a eternity, right? As then on a contrary, anyone would have divided all the time his memory into two equal slabs. And here things, blah 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 blue. That's a lot of reading. That's the best. We wrote on and behind the sign. Shivering ghost, yada yada yada. Yes, and a little shadow stuck by a bit of man in the last. Huh, wild. Hmm. Yeah, last last human to live or the last human to die. Which I guess is you know the same thing, right? That's the whole deal. Alright, point oh eight un unsuccessful. Problem was trial 108, repeated all calculations, same result. Trials blah blah blah, I gave further insights, unexpected error, uh huh, sometimes trials affecting each other via unknown mechanism. Are they talking about uh, quantum entanglement here, huh? Interesting stuff.
Okay. Well, we found the lost lab here, which is important. That ticks that box. And now we can get out of here. Well, this area at least. So, presumably the more hidden of the three hidden things here. Well, five, I suppose, right? The two stars, the two lost puzzles, and then the lab. Uh, we've yet to find either of the two lost puzzles. Those seem to be hiding a bit better this time. Or let's just trying to find a, an entrance off the path here. This is seven. We don't want to be to seven yet. We'll do six. And that was the green connector bit, right, that we needed? Okay, now we took the wrong path over to here. This is six. Okay, this is six. Back into it. Alright, normal laser bit. Blue out, or blue source, rather. Red in. Blue in. And an inverter. And a red bit. Cannot target from here. Okay. Well, let's take this and move this to, like, right here, I guess. Can we do that? No, let's... Just kind of get this right there. We can probably... Oh boy. Are we gonna... Yeah, of course. It's just barely. Well, let me do this. Target that. And be like... Yeah, we need to be like right here. But I don't know that we're gonna have enough angle on this one to make this work, right? We would have to be, like, right there, but then that's cut off there. Alright, that's no good. What else we got around the bend here? Got a blue... Blue bit there. Red bit there. Where do we have one of our elevated red bits? Oh, jeez. Birds, please. One of our elevated red bits visible from here. Kind of cheekily use it over here. No. Okay. Alright, so one inverter, one normal, one blue source. And that's about it, huh? Okay, I think I see. Let's grab the blue source, push it there. Grab the inverter. Oh, there's a switch. Oh, that's the actual end. Okay. We need to get both bits over on this side somehow. Or find a third bit. Okay, then we got blue to red there. Okay, I see. Oh, didn't mean to connect to whatever that was. Oh, I didn't realize that was a blue bit. Uh, okay. Um... Blue to red here, right? No, I don't want that one, do I? Do I want that one? I guess I do. Hold on a second. Alright, then blue to blue here. Ah, which lets us target that from there, right? Okay. Take that. Then blue to red to red here. No, uh, actually, no, I want to do this the other way, I think. Let's do blue, blue, red, back here. Yep, and then we can yoink that one. But then what? Then what? Oh, then we can sneak that back there, right? Because that's open? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay, good stuff. I think 
there's any other line of sight stuff over here, right? Because the other... Now, it's the star that's over there. Okay, yeah, that's the green over there. Oh. Oh, we don't have a combo bit to target this here, though. Let me see if we can target it from here. I don't know that we can. Oh, yeah, we can. Interesting. Okay. I'm sure you have to make things be self-sustaining. Yeah, that's an interesting little twist to it. I, I really like that. I like the kind of leapfrog you have to play with it sometimes. I always like it better when I don't fuck up halfway through and have to redo it. Okay, so we can target this from here. But that has to be green. And we don't have a combo bit here. And I don't think we have... Eyes on our green bit from somewhere else, do we? Or a possible green bit, rather. Like, if we could somehow... Okay, yeah, I just barely see that. It's probably impossible to see on stream. It'll be impossible to see on the recording, but I just barely see the red line there. Can we target that? Oh, whoa. Okay, that scared me. It's just me bumping into the field there. Oh no, I lost track of it. Okay, but we do have that eyes on it from, what is this, puzzle six, right? Okay. Well, we'll see what we can do with that. Oh, is that a thing? Okay, there. It's up there. This might work. I was looking in the wrong direction for this. If this is, uh... Wow, yeah, it's... <laughs> it's so thin, you can barely see it. Okay, but with this, I think we just change that over to green. From, uh, puzzle three instead of puzzle one. And that should, uh, unlock the thingamading, right? Um, so let me hit one. Let me disconnect one. Uh, wait, which direction was that? Over here. Oh, I don't know. I guess I just follow the laser back to the source, right? Duh. I need to disconnect one, and then I need to pop over to three and put green up there instead. And that'll probably just go ahead and do the haw thing for us, and then we can go get it. Uh, here. And then there's eight. Oh, shit. Can we just do seven and eight while we're out here? <laughs> Let's just do seven and eight while we're out here. Um, assuming we've got eyes on seven somewhere. Not that we strictly need to do them in order, but... Oh, it's a hidden one. Perfect. I knew wandering about would pay off eventually. Oh, we got tunnel shit too now. Okay. Alright. Got an inverter. Red source. Button. Well, I'm gonna need that for the button probably for now. And get over there, move the tunneler if we need to. There's another inverter. Red source is over there. Which doesn't really help that much. Um... Doubt I can. Can't target that through here, because of course I can't. Why would I? Alright, let's have that there. Uh, wait, that's a red source there? Yeah. Okay, here, 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 here. I need this. 
be here. I need to pre-connect red to blue to here, I think, right? And then we need to do that. Oh, which I can't uh, get back on that side anyway. Uh, fuck. Eh. <laughs> If I do that, it'll get disconnected, right? Okay, that's no good. Um... Okay. I mean, that's on that thing, so that's... Oh, duh. Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um... Yeah, I didn't even see that before. Uh, okay. Well, let's grab this. Let's do this. I'm gonna grab this some bitch here. Pull that through here. Like, oh, cool. Oh, okay. Well, that doesn't really help me, does it? Hmm. Need to get this open somehow. Why that one's blipping like it's got something to say to me here. Plug, I guess. Okay. Well, we've got red source. Can we peek red source through there? We can. Okay. Does that help me in any way? <laughs> I don't think it does. That helps me right now. Even if it did. Hmm. Is that all the pieces I have to work with? Uh, a tunneler or two inverters? Got red source there. Can I just barely scope red source through that one? Uh, no. Not enough angle. Okay. Well... thing back on this side. Red to blue to blue to that. And we'll put it over here, I guess? I guess... Oh, right! Because that'll leave that open. Duh. Fucking dummy. That'll open that without the button. Yeah, okay. And then that opens that. Ah. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, no, that's fine. Okay, we can target that from here, huh? Interesting. Okay. Um, then let's just retarget this. Flip to flip to that, I guess. Oops. Uh, try that again. Oh, but I can't do that. Ah. Hmm. Uh, however... Is there a second source in here? No. Got that thing out of that. Just fine. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. I need that on the other side now. Um, because I can scope red from that side means I can do this. That I can get that through there. And then we can scope red. Just barely? Oh, wow, yeah, just barely there. Uh, scope red through there. 
Get that to be blue. And then, uh... Blue to red. Perfect. Okie doke. I've been kind of eyeballing these little panels on the wall here. That looks a little bit like the thing we should be looking for for the Sphinx one, too. We might have to pop back to some of these previous ones and see what kind of symbols they've got on them. There we go. That's one of the one of the mystery ones. And I was following the laser back because I wanted to swap that over to green. Right? be pretty easy to do. Oh, and that's number eight, right, because I was looking for number seven, which I think is just over here. I may as well just do number seven and eight right away. Oh, the hell is this? Weird. May as well just do number seven and eight while we're here, and then we can work on the star things. Number seven there. Backward propagation. Alrighty. Got an inverter. Red source. Blue bit. Another inverter. And a button. And okay. Another blue bit there. And red. Or, or a red thing there, and a blue. Yeah. Okay, I see. I see what they want here, and I don't necessarily like it. <laughs> Alright, so we'll set that up there. Um, that's pretty much the only thing we can do here. Uh, and then I want, yeah, do this, set this up red to blue, and then open this, which then maintains that, and then red to blue. Is that really it? Oh, no, I gotta, here, here's what I, I gotta do this as well. Red to blue to blue. There we go. Okay. That was a little bit less silly than I was thought, thinking. I can't even get my brain to think like that. And Yakut with the kind of humble self put down there. You could get, you could think like that, Yakut. Come on. You could do it. You're a smart robot human. Presumably. That's why you're on this expedition. All right, okay, so that one was pretty not terrible at all. And then number eight is back over here. Uh, yeah. I think, right? Yeah, okay, so now it's marked on my, right, because we encountered the entrance to it, it's now marked on our compass. That's handy. That's handy. And we'll be kind of close to where we need to be for the laser thing anyways. All right, number eight, positional interchange. Okay, oh, we got some boxes now. Inverter, box, a fan, a normal laser, a button. <laughs> Bruce is just a bastard. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's right, right? <laughs> All right, so let's set that up there. Um, well, actually, no, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set that up here. Oh, where's that even going to go? <clears throat> Wait a minute. I guess it's just going to pop itself up there, but I don't... Eh, we'll see what happens. Because um, we need a blue source, right? Going to red. Which pops that up and then down. Interesting. Hmm. 
Okay. And we've also got a red there. Which I don't think is gonna work the way I want it to, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, it doesn't get enough time to charge up the thing. It doesn't even get high enough to do that anyway, so alright. Oh, we've got another uh, inverter there. Okay, well, clearly that doesn't work like that, so let's just do this. Oh, we can just do it like that, okay. Um, am I gonna need that box? I feel like I'm gonna need that box. Now we've got that open, and we've got this one open to grab the other inverter. Um, so now we can do... Okay, I see. Uh, uh, okay, let's do blue to red? Um, which I guess doesn't matter. Well, actually, hold on a second. I probably just want to maybe do this. And then do uh, blue to red here. Alright. And then we can get the normal ass one out here. Uh, and then do blue to blue, which is blocked by that, which I guess makes sense. Because now we want this to be. Oh, now that's up there permanently. Okay, um... You know what, let's stop that for the time being. I'm gonna put you here. Well, just put you on there. Because then we can get a... Whatever color this is gonna be up there. And go, uh... Blue to red to, I guess, red, right? And then that'll provide our blue. Or, yeah, that'll provide our blue. And then we'll need... Uh, wait, what the... I don't need that to provide blue. Actually, I need it to provide red. Shit. Does it? Oh, this provides red now. Like that. S sort of. Um, but I also need blue in there, too. Which we've got that up there, or that right there. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> oh, okay. I. I think I see. That needs to be the source of... That needs to be the source of red, I think. So we can't have it shoot red in there. Alright. So then, I need to have this, like... got two blue sources now. We need one. We need a red. Okay, we got a red source there, though. Uh... A blue and a red. And also a red going there. What in the world? I mean, even if I have... No, that's not gonna work. Because <clears throat> I need that red. I, okay, okay. So I always need that red over there to have the thing up there. That's required. And I guess that always needs to be an inverter in here, anyways, because we can't get the normal thing through here. So that's always got to be a blue. Um, and this is always taking in blue. So it just needs an additional couple reds here, right? 
like that. But, how the do I get blue over here now? Can we, uh, no, because we need the box over there. And we can't take the box out of there anyways. Now we need a blue over there somehow. Well. So that's a blue, right? Yeah. Suppose we can do this. Yeah, we don't have enough, uh... Or do we have enough of an angle to do this? I feel like we don't. Oh yeah, we do! Son of a bitch. Okay. Alright. I figured it was gonna be all like, nah, -uh, man. These lasers are too close. Okay. All right, that's all the normal bits then. We just got the two stars and then we have to find the other lost one. But okay, we know, I'm pretty sure we know the one star one, right? Uh, let's go to number one. Let's go to the laser thing, right? That one was a bit more troublesome, for sure. But I would expect the number eight puzzles in all of these to be the more troublesome of everything, right? Just by virtue of it being less... Is this, uh... Wait, why is it leading me to a question? Why is there a question mark there? Oh, that's the gate, right. But what's this other question mark over here? Was this, uh... Was this a point of interest we just fucking skipped over? What's the deal? That's, oh, that's interesting. I wonder if I can climb up that thing. That would be fun. Let's see if we can climb up the thing. <laughs> eh? 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 Oh, come on! Man, what's on our little ro robot feet here? That's like, that's not even a, I guess that is a 45 degree grade. Okay, that would be tough to scale. That'd be very dangerous. Maybe we shouldn't do that. Okay, but what was the little question mark Dilabop over here? Was this the second hidden one? It is! Oh shit, awesome. Okay. Uh, transposition. You've got... Blue, an inverter, a wood jammer. Ooh, that's fancy. Haven't seen those since section one, I think. Uh, a blue... Oh, a blue. Damn. Oh, but a normal one there, and then we've got a tunnel thing, and a normal thing. Um... Oh, I see. Here we go. Here's the normal thing. Uh, I would like to make this... Okay, there's the tunnel bit there. I see. Oh, I see. Here we go. Um, let's go ahead and do blip. Uh, blip. Set this over here. Oh, we're gonna, not going to have enough of an angle to do that. You shitters. Okay. Instead, set that here. I probably want to put that... Let's see if this does it, actually. I don't think this is going to be the entirety of it, but I'll try it. Jammer there. Unblocks that. Okay. Sustains that. Ah, yeah, that's only one of them. Only one of them, isn't it? Okay. But that gets us the tunnel bit out here. Which, uh, I'm not 100% sure what that's gonna do. I guess that gets us access to blue and to red, right? Ah, there's the blue. Okay. Um, what's the source? Okay, there's the there's the source over there. So I will need. I need to just exchange these. I guess I need to just exchange these, right? So let's do that. Do that. That one here. This one over here. 
normal one here, then we get blue, to blue, to I guess about right there. And then blue to red. Well, that over there. Oh, yeah, okay. Except, um, I can't do that. Because, oh, I think I see here. I need that jammer now to be, uh, crap. I, mm, I need to move this one over a bit, but I can't can't really move it over. I guess I can move it, like, to right here. Or right there. But then I need, um... Yeah, because if I do that, I can't get back over there, can I? Mmm... Okay. No, that ain't gonna work. But, now I've got this. Um, blue to red to red here, right? Um, and now I just need to temporarily jam this one. There we go. Okay. Excellent. That takes care of that. I guess it was on the little question mark thing was on the compass the in couldn't have been the entire time, right? Probably fucked around for way longer than we needed to. Oh well. Oh, it was right near the okay, so we probably caught sight of it when we were wandering our butts toward the Sphinx thing over here. Just to double check what this was, right? It's the little circle with the X. The classic, like, Windows 98 error symbol without the color. Um, hmm. That's, that's going to take a little bit of thinking, I think. <laughs> uh, but for now, let's try to track down the laser for, like, the fifth time. We got sidetracked because we found the hidden one. Um, where is this now? Should be towards number one, right? That's where I was headed. Let's head over to two and three. And we should be probably in visual range of it at some point. There's number one. Okay. Because that'll be shooting a red laser out, which is not what we want, as it turns out. We want it to be green. Um, okay, here we go. Here's number one over here, which I think is the source of all this, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, so the thing over there is right there. Before I turn this off, let's head over to three real quick and see if we can target one of these. Because if we can, if we can get it from three, then I know I know what to do. Uh, hmm, three's gonna be all the way over the fuck there. So we might just need to, oh, but it looks like one of the things is here, right? Yeah, it's just kind of like up in this little thing. It's way less obvious than the other one on the tower, and I think this is directly targetable from in here. So let's set this up first, and then when we disconnect the one in one, it should propagate on its own. Um, all right. So I need... I already lost sight of it. Good job. It's over here.
<laughs> oh, there. There it is. Okay. Uh, like, from about there, it's facing west-ish from within number three. Ah, right there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this should be fine. Um, so we need a blue source. And a red source. Oopsie. Uh, flip red, blue, output green to there. Back up enough for it to do that. There. Okay, now, as soon as I disconnect that, we should be good. Alright. Yeah, placeable markers would be good too, for sure. But I think I'm just not paying attention enough to the compass. Uh, the markers at the top center. That would probably help speed this up too. Oh no, we've got a notification. Please tell me this isn't weirdo from whatever, trying to be like, hey, you wanna talk to these weirdos? And I'm like, no, I don't wanna. Uh, oh, it's just that it's a poem. Okay. Look in the garden without fear. Stars from across the sky. And it's standing amongst tall lilies. Look in face. Blah, 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 blah. Huh. Okay. Interesting. I'm not, I, you know, I'll admit I'm not personally one for poetry. But I can respect that people are able to write cool things. Very important being happy where you are. I don't think our journey is over. Maybe it'll never be over. I also feel that it's about death. Oh boy. Um, uh, I mean, yeah, it it sounds very much like it's about death, but I don't want to think about that. So I don't think our journey is over. Maybe it'll never be over. Yeah, so you know, his journey is long as exhausting as long and exhausting. Yeah, well, got that fucking right. Long and exhausting. Uh, this is important of your honors. New horizons. Blah blah blah. Wow, we're sponsored by Byron itself. All right, all right, Libistros. Let's let's calm down there. I've been traveling with Byron for the past few nights. It's not as all it's cracked up to be. All right, don't let that single digit number seven fool you. The fuck is this slash dot? Come on. <laughs> Fucking, even social media of the future sucks. Um, alright, so we got the green set up, right? That was the deal? Um, yeah. Wait, how did I end up over in number four? Did I just totally black out for a second? I need to head back to one. I need to head back to one, disconnect that, and that should probably be the end of that one, right? And you said earlier, Omega Weapon, talk about elevating the wrong people, right? <laughs> uh, okay, I did black out and just run some direction. That's interesting. Okay. That's a very me thing to do, isn't it? Oh, speaking of, hey, Byron. <laughs> I totally wasn't just talking shit about you. Um, all right, let's uh, disconnect this one. Oh, that didn't light up the way I thought it was going to. Run back to three. I, th I figured that would have just done it. But maybe I fucked up. Maybe I just need to reset it, right? It did kind of confuse me that when we connected it up in one that it forked off in two different directions, so... This is, uh... Probably more likely to be the thing here. Yeah, I think I just need to reset the damn thing. Uh, okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, there we go. Ah. All right, we just need to go collect. I think. And we can just kind of follow it back, right? And then there's the whole deal with. Oh shit! I didn't. Uh, I was gonna check on these symbols whilst we were there. Oh, was there actually something blocking? I figured it just kind of got a little confused. Oh, no, you're right. It was. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Let's move that over. All right, I wanted to check on these things and see if there was a correlation here. I don't think so. That's the weirdo. 
Well, I guess it kind of is, right? Because these look like the things that might have been on the Sphinx thing? Hmm. Okay. Well, since we're in sort of in the area, let's check out one and two. So I feel like these ones that might be closer to the stone face thing might be uh, connected to that one, right? Yeah, see, look at that. Okay, the circle with the X, right? What does that mean? I feel like that's gotta mean something. I feel like this is gonna be connected to the thing, right? Okay, well, when we go collect that star, let's go take a peek at the Sphinx thing again, and then... See if maybe there's a... Connection to be drawn there. I think it was, what, Northwest-ish or whatever? up to here or is that where it's coming from damn it <laughs> fucking... which one was the source and where is it fucking going I think it was coming from here right this is where number three was sort of oh no oh no it's blinking over here so this is the one that we need to go to to grab it Whee! This is what, Pandora? It's the statue of Pandora or whatever? Okay, I don't know if I necessarily agree with the premise there. Oh, because the, the little symbol is one of the laser receptacle thingies. I never, I don't think I made that connection before. Okay. All right, that's fine. Um, what was this, the Sphinx thing look like again? Here. The, the, the green circle, the X thing or whatever, which was in number two. Right? So what does that mean, though? Um, let's go over to the Sphinx thing and investigate it. Right? There's so many, like, tiny visual connection things you can make here. Which is super rad, I like that. I, I feel kind of bad that it took me... Let's see, what is what session is this? Session 4, and we're almost entirely through. So it took me nearly 8 hours to figure that out. <laughs> if, I were a, if I were a smartman, I would have noticed it right away, but, you know... Not a smartman, so... What are you gonna do? Um, where was I headed? The other star thing, right? Let's go investigate the Sphinx. Again. Let's see if there's anything more to be gleaned from that one. It just had the symbol, right? Just had the symbol with the thing on it. To me, that seems to indicate, like, some sort of switch. Like, we flip a switch, we spawn the star, and then we just come grab it, right? Let's 
generally how these things have worked out. Although I think we've only done one other Sphinx one, right? And that was in Sector 2, which had the switches on the the little uh, puzzle uh, pillars, right? The numbers. In fact, we can see if that's the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one was switch-based. I imagine this one is also going to be switch-based. Okay. And that'll be the last one of this area, right? We did all the others. Did the normal puzzles, did the two lost ones, and then we found the lost lab, so we just need the, the star. Okay, I guess we could go head back to this area, right? Alright, where was this? Was this to the south? There's this whole, like, kind of maze thing, too, which kind of makes me think there's something to do with it. But alright. Find ye old stone head again. I think it was to the south. Or no, I think I might have went that way and then I had to circle way the fuck around, because I'm an idiot. Let's go this way instead. It was near... I think it was near number two and three. And number two was the one that had the circle with the X in it. I think it makes sense to go around this way. It's definitely near the coast. Near and coast. Just gonna make another circuit of the island again. Hell yeah. We're gonna have so many steps. We're gonna have the beefiest ass robot calves imaginable here. Yeah, because there's the, the little laser relay tower thing. It was near, it was near this. There's also this here, too, which kind of tweaked me a little bit the first time, right? Oh, you coot. You got anything more for us, buddy? No? You're good. Alright. Okay, there it is. Alright, so it was not... It was more southish than north. I'm an idiot. Okay. Um, alright. So it was from, from that direction, facing roughly there. Let's go get an eyeball on it. Would have been about there, right? There. Uh, maybe more there? Yeah, it gave us a little picture of the engraving here. It doesn't let us zoom into it, which is kind of weird, but... It's kind of like not quite directly in between them. Maybe a little closer in. Like I would think that little thing right there, dead center of what I'm pointing at there, seems to be the thing. That's just kind of below that little shelter looking thing. Okay. Just one of the little outcroppings of it, though, so it didn't. Yeah, right about 
right here. Yeah? It's a rock. Well, it's concrete. Well, not quite concrete, according to... I guess you could tell told us that, right? Kind of like this. So if we keep going a little bit further. laser receptacle thing up there, but maybe that's where the big fuck-off laser comes out when we go visit the little central tower thing, right? somewhere a little bit closer and we're looking too far too far beyond what it marked right could have been somewhere in this rock wall no that seems a little too obscure What did that thing look like? It looks like it's definitely behind the thing. Behind the, um, stone head. Not literally just right behind it, right? The only outstanding feature there is that little thing. Hmm. Well, it looks like there's like another little stud of this thing right there. Hold on a second. Am I stupid? I mean, don't answer that. I am stupid, but... I guess that's the other... Just the far bit of it, huh? Oh, no, 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 there we go! Oh, shit, that is really fucking... <laughs> Alright, so I was pointing sort of right, I just didn't look around. Oh, I'm a dummy. Okay. Um, where was the Sphinx now? <laughs> where is it? Okay, it's over this way. Okay, so I was correct about it being the Switch. So most of the Sphinx things, it seems, like, are switches. The little Pandora's things are appear to be lasers. Which is good. Which is good info to have, but I guess that does, uh... kind of line up with the, the symbols they've been using for it, too. Which, you know, whatever, fine. We did it. Ultimately, we did it. Uh, that's the wrong one. I was going towards the wrong star. I was wondering why it wasn't flashing. <laughs> Where the fuck was the Sphinx? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, there. Okay, it's over here. Oh, well, it's not too far. Plus, we're, we're like fucking. What's the 
patterned our uh, physical abilities against Usain Bolt, I suppose, because we are booking it. That's right, it was in this weird fucking labyrinth thing. Yeah. Yoink. The wheel turns, but without the road, it cannot move. Okay. What am I? <laughs> it's not really much of a real there, Sphinx. Sorry to say. Um, but yeah, that seems good. We didn't find any of the extra little Prometheus spark bits that lets us skip shit, though. I guess that doesn't matter, since we're not going to skip anything. And I guess what remains here is just to do the... the second half of the bridge building and then go up in the tower, right? <laughs> Darkest Dungeon 2 Wagon after losing its last wheel. Right? Oh man, Dark Dungeon 2, what a game. What a game that was, huh? What a game. Uh, alright, yeah, we gotta get up there. Maybe not climb the rocks, just take the path around. All right, pretty much straight across. This should be an easy bit, huh? Oh, that doesn't count? What do you mean? I can't, what do you mean I can't place it like that? Oh, it's got to line up with the exit point. Uh, that stinks. Oh, no, that doesn't work either. All right, back it up. Do 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 that right and then bonk. There we go. Easy easy. Yeah, I mean the way they changed how the death door thing works, like that's that was honestly beyond the pale for me. Like boy howdy, that was annoying as hell. Um all right, let's go up. Step into the purple murder beam. You'll be fine. I'm sure nothing will question our judgment and or intellect. The craftsman Daedalus was imprisoned in the very labyrinth he had created. His only solace was his son, Icarus. Yeah, uh-huh. To escape their plight, he fashioned wings of feathers and wax. Uh-huh. He warned his son to fly neither too high nor too low. But his son, enraptured by the freedom of flight, flew too close to the sun. Okay, yes, I'm well aware of the tale of Icarus here. Uh huh. What was the sun's error? <laughs> hubris. Oh boy. I mean hubris. Yes. Um. Also carelessness. That does sound correct. Lawlessness. No. Fuck. No. Fuck the law. Right. <laughs> Idiocy is a good one too. I do like that. Oh, there's Idiocy is actually in the list. The wings were made from Max. I mean, come on. <laughs> Okay, very good. I do like that one. That one ranks pretty high. Um, impatience. If he wanted to soar too high, soar so high, he should have built better wings. I mean, Icarus didn't build the wings. That was Daedalus, right? Disobedience. He should have listened to his father. Oh boy, what was the question? What was Icarus's error? Um. I mean, I hubris, yes, but I don't agree with the justification of it. Um, disobedience, maybe? I mean, his dad did warn him. Daedalus did? Daedalus did warn him, right? Um, it is, idiocy is fucking eternal, so that makes sense, too. Like, the wings were made of wax, right? Uh, if you wanted to, not impatience, necessarily, right? Because it's like, it wasn't, like, that's implying Icarus should have built the wings. No, 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 Daedalus was the builder. Lawlessness, I just flat out disagree with. Like, you shouldn't shouldn't have attempted to escape a labyrinth. Yeah, you should just accept your fate. No, absolutely. Absolutely not. Oh, boy. So I'm torn between carelessness and idiocy, then. I'm going to say carelessness. A little bit more discipline, and he would have been fine. Or was it Daedalus who was careless? 
giving the wings to Icarus, knowing that all young men are rash. Did he know that, though? After the death of his son, Daedalus withdrew in sorrow to a foreign land. Like, all right. But King Minos came looking for the craftsman to exact his revenge. The answer to a riddle revealed where Daedalus dwelled. But for Minos, that answer was his ruin. Oh, so Minos wasn't good at the riddles, huh? Burned in his bath as you seek your own answer. Okay, well, that implies to me that King Minos sucked ass at puzzles and riddles. And we definitely do not suck ass at puzzles and riddles, so we're fine. We'll be fine. Nice. Red murder beam there. The mega structure, it's opening. Three receivers, three towers, three beams, as we suspected. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. think this is an invitation. Doesn't it, look that inviting. Is it me. though? Like I did all if the fing work. Sides of the entire structure, then that opening must be big enough to drive a building through. Building, oh, building, Vito. building. You want us to go in there, into the creepy triangular <laughs> death. Creepy triangular moth death. Excellent. Right. We're here to explore, and this is a mystery worth I mean, yeah. This technology could change everything. Uh, all right. Sadly, I'm kind of on Byron's side with this one. Let's go explore. Let's explore, because I did all the fucking hard work of, ex of opening it up. Let's go in and take a look. Um, and I imagine that we need to go in there first anyways before any of these other ones open up, so, you know, we're kind of stuck. Kind of stuck, but, again, very well timed. We are at the end of tonight. One additional section taken care of in full. We'll just kind of be like, eh, this is good. This is good for now. We'll rely on good old autosave to hopefully not have to replay that bit later. Um, but that'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CST. We'll be back here with the Talos Principle 2. We'll go check out the Triangular Maw of Death, as Alcatraz so eloquently put it. Um, hopefully something cool. We get to see some cool shit, and then it's probably gonna be like, hey, yeah, go go to explore one of the other things, and I'll be like, hell yeah, more puzzles. Um, and then Yakut will fucking make fun of us for liking puzzles, because that's that's Yakut. Um, and then Byron will say something incomprehensible, and be like, yeah, okay, we just let him take along. And then Melville will be the grounding force for us, and I'll be like, yeah, I like Melville. But alright. Um, Thursday, 7.30 p.m., CST will be Shmup Book Club, um, or Trigon, or Bluish Resurrection Plus, or Karis. Friday, Saturday, we're off, and then Sunday, 7 p.m. CST will be Long Play. I'm looking like more Spelunky 2 since we didn't get to it yesterday, because I was so exhausted. Um, and then next Monday, 7 p.m. CST, back with more Talos Principle 2, since we're definitely not finishing it on Wednesday. <laughs> Still a lot to do. All right, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.